In today's episode, we are building extremely powerful water bump and testing out four different turbine designs. Stay tuned! Everything what you need for this build is in front of you. All STL files you find in the video description below. Let's speak about turbines, what we will test out. This one is the pink one. This design I have used the most. Let's check how well it performs next to the others. I bet this is the most efficient one. And the next one is green. This design I have seen in the car cooling systems. With this design I have never built a water bump. I think this is really interesting to see how well this will perform. Next, blue one. Really widely used design in water bumps. This design I have used before and I know this perform well. But how well next to the others? This is what we see really soon. Next, grey. This is actually a bit different than others because this has 6 blades and all others have 4 blades. Maybe because of this reason the comparison will not be so accurate as it should be but this video point is to test out different designs, so this one will be in for sure. But now finally, let's start with the build. Building the water bump is actually extremely simple, just attach motor to the water bump body. And use some silicon to fill the gap. Right now I am using silicon way too much. When the motor is in place, it's time to solder some wires. I am taking power straight from the battery. No switches, no speed controllers, no nothing. Really simple. Now let's test, is the water bump turning right way? And yes, I am lucky in the first attempt rare stuff and yeah let's close the top cover using four millimeter bolts and finally it's time for testing if you have made in this video so far and you like what you see then please support me and hit the subscribe and like button and turn the notification bell on to not miss my new project videos thank you finally testing First one is grey one. First test is freestyle. Just let's see how the water flow from the pump. In the second test, we will measure how long every turbine pumps out 5 liters and then in the end, we will see which one is the most efficient. Now it's time for the green one. I open top cover and the turbine is easily changeable.
I feel in my hands that this one was way stronger than the grey one. But let's see what results we will get. And yes, these have better numbers than the grey one. Time to test out blue. I feel with my hands that this was also really powerful. I wanna see the results. I let the timer run one second longer because I took the pump out of the water too early. But numbers with the green one is really similar. Last but not least, pink one. Actually, I am really amazed how long this pink one take to fill up 5 liters. Off camera I did the same test 4 times and the results was almost same. I cannot explain why it took so long. And here is the final results. I think blue and green both deserves first place because the results was just so similar and it's hard to say which one was the best for sure. And also there can be just some measurement errors. Actually the final results was something what I didn't expect at all. I learned a lot making this video and doing those tests. I hope you did also. If you did like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and don't miss my new content. But right now, stay cool and bye.